skin, big finish. Hi guys, what's up? It is my face story here and don't mind my blue teeth. So cute. I'm drinking a blueberry smoothie. I have like a face oil on and it keeps getting like dog hair stuck in it. <laughs> Anyways, so today what I want to talk about throughout my years of research on the interwebs, I have found pretty much people suffer from acne because of these three main reasons. These three main internal causes of what's going on inside your body is kind of what's showing in the form of acne. So I'm going to talk about the three main internal causes of acne right here, right now. Number one is going to be the oh so obvious hormones. Obviously acne is not just an inflammatory condition, it's also a hormonal condition. Hormonal acne doesn't just mean getting acne around your period or getting acne, you know, during a certain time of your cycle. Hormonal acne can be due to any type of hormonal fluctuation. So if your hormones aren't balanced, you constantly have usually an excess of testosterone or an excess of estrogen, something like that. Usually it's gonna show up right in here. So I know that mine is probably a hormonal issue, which is kind of hard to treat unless you want to go on birth control. There are some natural herbs. It's kind of just like trial and error, seeing what works for you. Obviously there's Chasberry Vitex, Ashwagandha is something I've been using and personally love it. My skin has been clear for a super long time. I am bringing that a little bit right now. Anyway, so hormones. One great way to actively balance your hormones is by, again, <laughs> taking something like ashwagandha, uh, maca, both of those are known to be really great natural hormonal balancers. Make sure your food that you're eating, because that actually can impact the way your hormones um, express themselves. You know, dairy and animal protein, all those sorts of things can have an excess of hormones in it that can actually change your hormones. Dairy has IGF-1 in it. That's an inflammatory growth hormone that can cause cystic acne. Eating a healthy, clean diet, exercising, um, relaxing, all those things actually help to help. <laughs> they help to help. They help to balance your hormones. And if you're more interested in that, I was going to grab my book, but it wasn't right there. Really good book to read. It's by Alyssa Vitti. I think that's how you pronounce her name and it's called Woman Code. I'm reading it right now, but it kind of goes more into depth on that and explains all those sorts of things. So if you guys are interested, that is a great book to read. Second main thing that causes acne that I've seen is going to be people who have digestion issues. So this usually happens a few ways. They have digestion issues. Maybe they don't realize it. Maybe they've had digestion issues their whole life but usually digestion issues are right here, um, but it can be anywhere. It can be on your back, your shoulders, your chest. But with digestion issues, usually people who like go vegan or start taking probiotics or doing those sorts of things, those are the people who start to see their skin clearing up. And your acne doesn't necessarily have to be just hormonal, just digestion, or just the next one I'm about to say. It can be a combination of all three. It doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other, and most of the time it is a combination of many different things, which is why it can be so hard to kind of pinpoint chronic cystic acne, and like where it's coming from, what's triggering it, those sorts of things. But digestion kind of goes with eating. A lot of people have trouble processing dairy and they don't know it, or processing animal meat, or processing. Some people even like don't, can't even eat oil. So it just really depends on your body and you personally. And as far as probiotics go, it's really great, especially for acne sufferers to take probiotics. Cause if you've ever been to the dermatologist, you've probably been prescribed an antibiotic and even being on antibiotics for one week can mess up your gut for a few years, which is kind of crazy. So it's really great to take a probiotic um, and acne sufferers also typically have a higher count of bad bacteria in their gut. It's like they have a 56% higher count, which is kind of crazy. So probiotics help to balance that out. So that's a good way. Another thing with digestion that I feel like is huge for me personally that can cause acne is blood sugar. Maintaining that constant blood sugar level. I am a fire sign, so I'm always like go, go, go. And you know, I get working and I start working and I don't want to take a break. I forget to eat all the time. And I go zero to, oh my God, I have to eat right now. That is unbalanced blood sugar level. That's something I need to work on personally, but I know I can't be the only one that's like that. So balancing blood sugar, that just means, you know, you have to eat 
constantly throughout the day. If it's like a little snack, don't wait until you're super duper hungry to eat. Make sure that you're eating at like consistent times, you're snacking and that you're not getting to the point where you're like starving and feel like you're gonna kill someone. That is key. <laughs> because with unbalanced blood sugar levels comes higher inflammation, comes acne, comes stress, which is my third point. Third thing I have seen from people is they are chronically physically or emotionally stressed and that usually goes hand in hand with some sort of sleep disorder. It doesn't have to necessarily, but it usually does. So with the stress, you know, the reason that's such a big thing is because being chronically stressed, being cro chronically in this flight or fight mode can cause you to kind of like wear down your immune system and your body can't fight off infections as well. It can't function as well. And your adrenal glands actually get impaired. So being chronically stressed causes two things. It causes higher inflammation levels and it messes with your adrenal glands. So it can cause your adrenals not to function as well, which is bad. <laughs> That's a huge cause of acne. If your adrenals aren't functioning as well, so many different things can happen. You can be tired throughout the day, you can have insomnia at night, you can have acne, weight gain or weight loss, hair loss, like so many different things. Your adrenal glands basically tell, send out hormones and tell everything else in your body how to function properly. So if it can't tell everything how to function properly, obviously it's kind of like the domino effect. You know, if one thing is falling behind, then another thing will, then another thing will. So that's kind of where it comes on the inside, the inside out. Obviously being chronically stressed is never a good thing. There are some things you can do. Uh, take time for yourself, remove yourself from any toxic relationships or any toxic environments and make sure that you're trying to get enough sleep. For me, that is pretty hard, but I've been finding that using like Rishi, uh, it's an aptogenic herb or Hishu Wu. <laughs> I know that one sounds funny. So it's called help me to sleep and also putting your phone away like two hours before bed, just putting it across the room because that light actually stimulates you and it will keep you up. It's scientifically proven. So make sure it's pitch black so that your body is increasing more melatonin. You're more, you know, <laughs> prone to sleeping and hopefully you will stay asleep. Obviously, those are the three main things, hormonal, digestion, and stress that I have personally seen within the acne community that people struggle with. And I feel like that's why you get in this vicious cycle because sometimes it's one, sometimes it's two, sometimes it's all three. And it's really hard to get all three of those things in a constant state of balance. So obviously acne is a genetic factor, just like people have brown hair or blue eyes or whatever. But the way that you eat, the way that you live your life, your stress levels, all of those can affect the way that your genes express themselves. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have severe cystic acne. You guys know that by using diet and lifestyle and stress reduction techniques, I have drastically improved my skin from what it used to be. So really how you are living can impact the way that your skin looks can impact the way that you feel. If you put in garbage food, you're gonna feel like garbage. If you put in good food, you're gonna feel good. I feel like it's just that simple. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to restrict yourself to a 100% healthy diet. We all wanna have like food that's not good for us sometimes. That is fine, but it's all about balance and it's all about finding, I guess, just what works for you. That is it, those, those are three main things. Those are my solutions, I guess. And that is all I have to say about it. So hopefully this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, all right, bye guys.